Your performance, congratulations. Thank you very much. Very, very, very kind of you. Yes, you were brilliant. What made you be a part of this project? The paycheck. They came to me <laughs> with a sack full of dollars. Great. No, I, I like the script. I, I'd never seen anything like it before. Right. And I'd never played a guy like this before who was so unbalanced and just keeping it together by a hair. A hair. Hara. Ha, Hara. Hara. <laughs> Did you see, um, obviously, Cloverfield when it came out eight years ago? Um, and then, you know, what were you thinking at the time? I didn't see it. You didn't? No, I didn't see this one either. They've got some kind of a theme that they're, they're going to run with the Clo Cloverfield name. Mm -hmm. um, it's a thematic thing that uh, JJ and, 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 and Bad Robot are doing that uh, I really don't know what it means, but uh, hell, I'm, if they want to hire me, I'm there. I'm, I, I love those guys. Brilliant. Yeah. Now, I was totally and utterly scared yesterday when I watched it. Really? Yes, I was. So why do you think it is that we get scared like that, and why do you think we are fascinated with scary movies like that? It takes you out of yourself. It takes you out of uh, where you are at the moment. Um, you're hoping for <laughs> a, a redemption, a hope that, that that there's an escape. That's what you, that's what we want, and uh, it just yeah, it, it freshens our brains for for a little while. Crazy, which yeah. is like in a, in a in a very crazy way. You don't know. Is he crazy? Is he not crazy? I mean, you like yeah, you don't. thinking he, about he, it. He 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 keeps people off balance um, because he likes to maintain a facade where he thinks he's a man with a, a great big heart, um, and he's not. He's just a, a man that wants to be in charge of everything, which is crazy, really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, anytime you think. Uh, you can get results by doing the same thing over and over and it don't work out, that's, that's insanity. And uh, he's just extremely lonely. He's just, you know, very lonely man. Do you remember when was the first time you watched a scary movie and which stuck with you and why did I it stuck with you? I remember, oh, you know what? I was terrified by a, a, a part of Fantasia, the Walt Disney mm -hmm. cartoon. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a, a night on Bald Mountain uh, sequence where they had this big devil that scared the hell out of me you know I remember I wouldn't go into the toilet by myself because <laughs> I thought he'd be waiting for me <laughs> and he was so do you still watch scary movies now uh, not so much um, yeah not not so much anymore no. I, yeah I, I, I don't they, they don't scare me much mm, okay yeah. well if scary uh, Romantic comedies and chick flicks scare me. Scary more. Yeah. <laughs> now, if scary movies don't scare you, what what does scare you in life, apart from the romantic comedies? Oh, just uh, my own brain. You know, thinking about what could happen to people that I love or uh, um, stuff like that. That, that scares me. It does uh, scary. Political situation right now is a little <laughs> scary. Mm. Is there a scariest moment in your life you can share with me? I'd, yeah, I, I would rather not. It, it's, yeah, it's pretty horrible. It's pretty horrible? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's get away from the scary stuff then. Let's talk about fun things. Um, when was the nicest vacation you went on to? Where was it and why did you like it? What country was it? Why did you like it? You know, I, I, I think that, well, I, I don't go on vacations as much as... Uh, I, I work in um, places that I've never been. I loved uh, 
going to Germany, when the last time was when we shot uh, Monuments Men. Mm -hmm. um, all around, we were in downtown Berlin one day, and they had in the Mitte, and they had to shut it down because they found some unexploded Soviet ordnance in a construction site. So that was a wow. little frightening. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, just different places uh, that I, I just returned from Vietnam. Uh, a couple of days ago, um, before that, Australia. Um, yeah, it was, it was nice. But which is your favorite place in the world, would you say? I, I, yeah, I don't know right now. Uh, probably home, because I have been home for a while. <laughs> I, I like sleeping in my own bed, playing with my dogs. That's vacation um, for you, right? <laughs> yeah, and, and eating all the good food there is in New Orleans. <laughs> That's occasion by itself, for yeah. sure. What's the best advice you ever got? Be yourself, and it's, it's almost impossible to follow if you don't know who yourself is. That's true. Probably lighten up. Lighten up, too. Don't take things so seriously. If you would go back, like, you know, 20, 20 years, let's say, and you know what you know now, what advice would you give yourself? Don't drink so much. <laughs> And if acting wouldn't exist today anymore, it'll be over. What will you do next? I, I, uh, I don't know. I, I, there's nothing else I know how to do. Um, yeah, I'd probably teach, uh, but I don't know how to do that very well. Uh, yeah, probably teach. Nein, nicht! Nein, tu das nicht! Nein! Bitte mach dich die Tür auf! Du wirst uns alle umbringen! Da kommt etwas.